Hello everybody! Today I am going to show you how to tie your shoelaces. Now it is very very tricky and you will have to practice a number of times before you get it right. But don't worry, I think I was about 9 or 10 years old when I was able to tie my shoelaces. I'm sure you will all get it before then. Okay, so here we have my trainers. Luckily, they're not very smelly, but they are a little bit dirty, but shoes do get dirty. So here we have two laces. Now it's easiest if they are the same length, more or less, okay? And how we're going to start is by making a cross with the two shoelaces. As you can see, there is an X here. We have one shoelace on top of the other, okay? Then the one that is on the top, we are going to take and tuck it under the other shoelace and we have a little knot. And then if you pull both shoelaces together, you can tighten the knot. Now, if it gets too tight, don't worry. You can loosen it or you can tighten it again. It depends on how tight you would like your shoes. Now we can put down this shoelace because we're going to work with this one, okay? With your Peter pointer finger, you are going to take it about one, two inches up the shoelace and make a loop. Can everybody see? You've made a loop. Now, with your Peter pointer and thumb on the other hand, you're going to hold the bottom of the loop so it doesn't fall out. And then here we have a perfect loop or a bunny's ear or whatever you would like to call it. Then we are going to take the second shoelace, this one that's hanging, we're going to go all the way around the bunny's ear. And if you can see my thumb here, is wrapped up in the shoelace. This shows me where we have to push this second shoelace through, but not all the way through. We are going to make a second loop. So here we have loop one and loop two. Now we're going to leave go of that at the bottom of the loop and we're gonna hold both loops by the top and we are going to pull. And there you have your fastened shoe. I'm going to do it one more time because luckily we have two feet, so we need two shoes. I'll pull this one in the middle and move this one out. We're gonna start all over again. It might be worth you getting a shoe in front of you and following these steps as we go through. So number one step, pick up both of the shoelaces. Cross them over to make an X. Oops, sorry. There is my X. The one that lays on the top, you're going to get the end and post it through the hole in the middle and hold it at the end. Take the second one by the end and pull. Okay, easy. Easy peasy so far. Here comes the difficult bit. Remember, hold your, the first shoelace about one, two inches up. If you have longer shoelaces, it doesn't really matter if it's not so accurate. Get your Peter pointer, bend it over, hold it at the bottom, and here you have your loop, your rabbit's ear, okay? Then you're going to take the second shoelace, remember, and you're going to wrap it round. And your thumb here on my right hand is showing you exactly where to post the second shoelace through. But remember, not all the way through. And then here we have two loops. And the last thing you need to do with the two loops is gently pull. And there you have perfectly tied shoelaces. Keep practicing Reptonians. I know you will get this very, very soon. Thank you.